New at 5.30 tonight, a local couple is pushing for an exemption in state law so they can auction off their low number Rhode Island license plate. It's been in their family for decades and now they want to use it to raise money for charity. Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Woods is in the control room with more details. Low number Rhode Island license plates are a hot commodity and one local couple, they're trying to cash in their plate all for a good cause. Our daughter Googled it and found out that in the state of Delaware, license plate 11 had been purchased for over $600,000. After almost 100 years with Rhode Island license plate number 11, one local family is trying to give their lucky number away. It is a lucky number and it's been lucky for, it was lucky for him and lucky for my mom and it's been lucky for us too. We have a lot to be thankful for. This license plate has been in David Hayes' family since plates were first issued in the 1920s. His mother gave the plate to him when he returned from Vietnam in the late 60s. But with both of their children living out of state, David and his wife Carol have no one to pass the plate on to, which is why they're now hoping to auction off the family heirloom for a pretty penny. We felt this was a way that we could do some good with the money that might be gathered from the um, sale of these plates. The Hayes family would need a waiver for the state to put the plate up for auction, allowing them to donate the proceeds to their two favorite charities. Uh, the charities are Welcome House Homeless Shelter in Wakefield, Peacedale, and the second charity is the Charleston Animal Shelter. They both have specific needs, uh, mainly housing needs. If the money is used appropriately, uh, lots of people and lots of animals will benefit from this. They tell me they started this process to get the waiver in January, but they're still waiting to hear from the state with a decision. In the control room, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.